Welcome everyone. We are a team of researchers from the University Medical Center in Utrecht, the Netherlands. Here we present the first open intracranial EEG and fMRI dataset that our lab will be releasing this summer. Very few medical centers in the world collect electrical recordings from the human brain for research purposes directly from the brain tissue. This is possible with a technique called intracranial EEG. It offers unique insight about the human brain and is key to the development of brain-computer interfaces. Public sharing of these data is important for stimulating progress and improving research practices in the field. First, it promotes reproducible research. Second, it encourages creation of reusable multi-purpose datasets, such as those collected with versatile naturalistic tests. Third, it helps form new collaborations. Finally, it stimulates interest to intracranial data from other fields, including artificial intelligence and computer science, which may be crucial for further advances in brain-computer interfacing. With that in mind, here we present the first open multimodal dataset that contains intracranial and fMRI recordings. These data come from two naturalistic tests, a short audiovisual film collected with both intracranial EEG and fMRI subjects, and a resting state task available in intracranial EEG recordings only. 51 intracranial EEG and 30 fMRI subjects are included in the dataset, with 19 subjects having both types of recordings. In total, there are over 4,800 electrodes that recorded human brain activity as our subjects perform the tasks. Of them, 671 are depth electrodes and 352 are high density electrodes placed over the motor cortex. We also provide extensive additional information about the data, including breathing and heart rate and electrooculography recordings, handedness and language lateralization data, and rich audio and visual film annotations. Prior to sharing, we have validated these data. Our analysis showed a high response to the audiovisual task in auditory and language areas. The pattern of response was consistent between intracranial, EEG, and fMRI. Finally, parts of these data have already been validated in previously published work from our group. These data can be used to answer questions about auditory, visual, and language perception, multimodal processing, and overall methodology of intracranial EEG and fMRI data analysis. If you would like to request the preprint and a link to the dataset, please get in touch with us. And thank you for your attention.